Well, beautiful boats and high-end art combine at Artists on Deck in Brainerd. For this week's In Focus, Jamil Donath takes us to this summer art show at the Gull Lake Yacht Club where big spenders come to buy fine art. This is all made out of sliced petrified wood. For one-of-a-kind of art pieces, you have to pay the price. This is 12500 But selling high-end art in a tough economy is never smooth sailing. If I can sell a couple, I'm, I'm happy. You know, I mean, it's, it's a tough market, uh, selling art. And that's how Artists on Deck came about. Connect artists with uh, a more flush audience that appreciates art but also has the means to purchase it. The Crossing Arts Alliance thought the Gold Lake Yacht Club would be the perfect setting to match sellers with buyers. The past couple of years we've had really good sales for the artists. The people that come here, a lot of them can't afford this. These artisan pieces start at around $100 and go up to as much as $12,000. It's something that's completely hand engraved. 3000 to 10000 While this high-end art may come with a hefty price tag, some artists say they've already slashed their prices in half in order to sell them. For example, this handcrafted chair and nightstand set are going for $9,000, when originally this chair itself was going for $8,600. That's really what we do. We put ourselves out there and, and um, hope people like it. And like it enough to buy it. Original art like Greg Rosenberg's stained glass and copper lamps started around $3,000. The materials are very expensive, but the bulk of it is labor. A low price for Neil Hunt's hand and grave belt buckles is about $1,000. It's not at all unusual to spend a week on one belt buckle sometimes three weeks. David Rickard's sailboat inspired paintings and Dave Boren's stunning stills are at the moderate end. Small ones go for maybe 400. The uh, 10 by 15 uh, mat or mounted prints are uh, $100. So as you can see by the sales tag for these upscale artisans, a yacht club clientele is more likely to buy than browse. Be nice, I'd, I'd love it to sell some. If I sell enough, I can buy a sailboat. <laughs> but regardless of how right the match might be, there is no guarantee that their art will set sail. For this week's In Focus, Jamil Donath, Lakeland News. And if you have an idea for an in-focus, email, Facebook, or tweet us at Lakeland News PBS. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.